here's an issue i see way too many people run into in godot and that is their scenes uh just generally look really bad and nobody takes the time to actually work on this even though it is so simple and easy to do in godot as with many things are this scene to the more keen of you as you may have noticed looks absolutely horrible it is very very washed out heavily blue tinted none of the colors really pop nothing stands out it looks bland it's just sad and gloomy overall the first thing you might do to fix this is to add in some lighting and this scene still looks horrible even with lighting okay well then what if we add in our directional light i forgot i was supposed to take that out earlier but whatever we add in directional light and the scene still looks really really bad so you can see this is what the scene looks like originally you add in some spotlights you add in a directional light it looks a little better now but it still looks bad everything still has that very bad blue tinting to it which looks very unnatural so how do we fix this well, first we add in a world environment node to the scene. I'm going to move it all the way up to the top right here. And we're going to add in a new environment, which is going to turn everything gray or whatever color is set into your project settings. If you go to project settings and you go to environment, this color is basically what the background is going to be. So oh, what we're going to do now is actually fix that by giving a proper background to it. So I'm going to switch this to a sky and we're going to put a procedural sky you can use panorama sky if you have an hdri but uh, i don't for this setup and um, we're back to where we started next thing we're going to do is head over to tone map switch to either filmic or aces filmic i believe is what blender uses and aces is what unreal engine uses i would recommend aces if you want your colors to really pop and stand out so i'm going to stick with aces uh next we're going to zoom out a bunch focus on our sun Play with the white point until the sun seems like it is correctly white balanced. I think that's about right. Uh, and our scene looks a little bit dull. You can raise the exposure of it if you want to make the scene look a little bit better. What I'm going to do instead is in my directional light, I'm going to raise the color, not the color, the energy of the light to 2. And our scene's already starting to look way, way better than what it was initially. But we can improve this even further. First, let's head over to the ambient light and raise the value to somewhere in the middle. Right right there, right in the middle. And what we're going to do is get rid of that blue tint by slamming off the sky contribution. Uh, if you want a little bit of that blue tint in, you can leave it sort of like this. But don't keep it at max because you can see everything looks still pretty bad. So now we're starting to see the actual colors of our scene start to return. I think this sticks out a bit too much, so I'm going to leave a little bit of the blue tint in. And the next thing we can do is enable shadows on our directional light. And as you can see, the shadows are way too dark for our scene. They're too dramatic. So what we're going to do is under the ambient light, we're going to raise the energy of this just like that. So this sort of creates a fake bounce lighting effect. And you can already see the scene starting to look much, much better now. Uh, the next thing we can do is enable some SSAO, although this is pretty performance intensive. So I would only recommend, recommend doing this if you're going to do like a final shot of your scene or something, but in game, uh, put this as an option and like your game settings or something because this is a pretty uh, Screen space ambient occlusion is a pretty performance intensive thing to give your whole game a sort of very like uh, Dreamy feeling or uh, you can use glow which basically adds bloom to your scene and You can play around with the bloom amount here and the intensity of the bloom uh, I'm gonna lower that a bit for this scene because I don't want things to stick out too much. And our scene's looking much better, but there's one last thing for us to fix. This, the horrible, horrible procedural sky background. For one is it doesn't really represent sky colors very well, but the other issue is that this whole bottom part has this weird gray to it, which looks really bad for basically any scene where you can see anywhere above the halfway point which is pretty much every single game so what we're going to do is just copy over the sky colors to the ground colors just like that 
and our scene's already looking much, much better. This starts to look something more like what you would see made in like Unity or Unreal Engine or something like that. And uh, yeah, with those simple steps, you basically already have a much better scene. You could play around with this to make it a little more of like realistic looking color if you wanted, which I might go for something kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's copy that over to the ground color for consistency. Yeah. There we go, this is a much better looking scene than what we initially started out with. And uh, all it took was just a few very simple and very easy steps to achieve this. So I hope that most of you all know how to get better looking scenes now. The procedural sky, by the way, has a lot of really good options to tweak your scene and make it look good. For example, you can change the sun's curve to make it look much better or like larger like this. Or you can change the angle for the sun or the minimum angle so it shines brighter oh god that is too bright and you can also change its position in the procedural sky i'm going to leave it at the default for now you can play around with this as you like the last thing i'm going to do is get my camera find a good position in my scene so i'd say something kind of like yeah I like that and then what we're going to do is head to perspective and hit a lens transform with view so now that's going to place the camera exactly where uh, my actual viewport camera was. So you can see just like that. And uh, we're ready to run our game. I will actually add in uh, some SSAO because I think that looks good. Um, let's raise the intensity a little bit. To sort of make things stick out a bit more. Okay, uh, right after I recorded the video, I realized I, I missed out on one important thing. Uh, one important thing I had to say for uh, screen space ambient occlusion, SSAO has this setting right here called light effect, which basically changes um, what the effect that uh, any sort of lighting has on your SSAO, which in a brightly lit scene like this is very important because um, if you don't have, like for example, if I set the intensity back to the regular, and you see the light effect at zero, there's practically no difference with SSAO on and off. You can see a little bit of it pop in right there, but there's not much difference. Um, what you actually do is if you raise the light effect, you can start to see it brings out more of those areas which should be affected by SSAO. Then, once you have light effect at max, then start to play around with the intensity and you can start to see it has a much greater impact on your scene now. So you can really play around with this, get it how you want, or maybe lower the light effect later on and this will give you kind of whatever you're looking for in your scene if you want you can also change the quality to high which would make it more like this and the, what it's actually doing behind the scenes if you disable the blur you can see this is what SSAO actually looks like so this is low uh, medium which has a lot more and high and then the blur is basically what's going to turn it more and more into seeming like it's sort of like a bake light map or something but it's very heavy in performance so use with caution anyway uh back to whatever i was saying in the video uh yeah i kind of like that i kind of like that the last thing we're gonna do actually i said that like four times already but i promise this is the actual last thing once you have set up everything and i really mean you've set up everything just as tokisan games has said before only then and only then Will you play around with the adjustments of your scene? So you can raise the brightness of it, the contrast, which would make things look really horrible, or the saturation of things. Um, or what you can also do is put a gradient texture here uh, and put a new gradient in it. And what we can do now is play around with the high parts of our scene. So these are the higher colors and these are the lower colors of our scene. So what I like to do is put a second thing right here in the middle and drop this down to just about black and then move this around until it creates like this kind of dramatic effect at the lower end, which makes your scene looks kind of cool. Or you could do the reverse for like the high end of the scene. So you can make the high ends look a little brighter, something like that. Or let's go for both actually. Why not, I guess? 
let's move this somewhere around there and there we go so we have some good looking sort of like a good looking scene this is at least what looks good to my eye we've got some screen uh, screen space ambient occlusion and our colors really really pop and all it took was a single node and a directional light with i mean i'm pretty sure your scene already has a directional light in it and we just had to raise the energy of it to two and the single world environment node fixed our entire scene from looking like garbage absolutely horrible and this is what we did if we just bring in the environment alone you can already see the scene looks a million times better and then we add in our lighting and our spotlights and there we go our scene's looking so much better than it was initially so yeah good luck with your games and whatever projects you're working on i hope you guys learned something new about how to get good looking scenes in Godot. it's really not that hard it's just this one uh, note that you got to learn how to use well and you can really make or break the colors of your scene and make it look really nice so really i'd say go for it and enjoy